YouTube, it's Dan Gage back again with a new video. <clears throat> this one's called Singing and Playing the Harmonica, more of a philosophy video, more geared towards the intermediate player who's stuck in a rut and is looking for the next, the next way to get out of it. Um, so let's talk about singing and playing the harmonica. When I started playing, basically what I did was stand on stage and wait my turn for, for my, you know, little piece of the solo and I'd, you know, play some rhythm, but spent a lot of time waiting. And then, and then when I spent a lot of time at blues jams, same thing. I spent a lot of time waiting to get up on stage, and then when I was on stage, I spent a lot of time waiting for a little piece of the action, a little solo, or or maybe just a song that harmonica would sound good over. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you're if you're in that mode where you're going out and you just you're getting frustrated, you're getting you're getting angry, you're getting just just ticked off. Well, I got to that point. I got to the end of my rope, and I decided to take the advice that I got from a friend, and that advice. Um, he said James Harmon told it to him, and the advice is one of the best things you can do for your harmonica playing is learn how to sing. So that's the premise of this video, and, and I'm going to tell you why. I made a list because I've been thinking about this one. Um, <clears throat> rule number one, or reason number one, why, why I think it's valuable to learn to play the harmonica and to sing, or why singing helps you play the harmonica. Reason number one, you get more opportunity to play the harmonica. Okay, just about everything that I do musically, um, I mean, it's fun, it's meeting people, it's great experiences, but most of the, most of the time, everything I do is geared towards playing more harmonica. This, when you're the singer, you're also the center of attention. Um, not everybody in the audience is an instrumentalist. A lot of people just want to hear the words, or they just want to hear the beat, and the, that lead role kind of gives you command of the stage, or you should be in command of the stage. In that case, you can decide, well, I'm going to play another chorus of solo, and I'm going to decide when it's time to sing, and, and, and that way you're not, you're not sort of at anyone else's leisure to throw you a bone as the lowly harmonica player in the corner. Now, and not that this harmonica sideman is a lowly role. I mean, some of the best cats um, play in the sideman role you know, little Walter with behind Muddy. Um, you look at Adam Gussow, and he doesn't sing much, and he's a fantastically accomplished player. Um, Dennis Grinling, a modern guy, you know, check these guys out, Google them. If you haven't watched Adam's videos, then I don't know what you're doing at mine. But you get the idea. It's not, it's not, it's not the be all end all. But in our modern day kind of, you know, average, you know, Sunday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night blues jam, it's kind of the reality that a lot of us face. So, playing more harmonica is a key reason. Number two, it gives you a better idea, if you sing, it gives you a better idea, if you practice the idea of singing and playing back and forth, it gives you a better idea of how to back up a singer. So it gives you perspective on that, the kind of ensemble playing, because you've been in that singer's role and you know what it's like. Um, okay, I think being able to sing and play harmonica gives you a little bit more ability to just play by yourself and entertain people. It's like, well, you know, hey... Hey there, Dan, you play the harmonica, great. What are you going to do? And if you can bust out and play a song, people really, really like that. And you play and sing, or instead of just sort of noodling away on the harmonica. So that's, that's another reason I thought of. So how do you get there? Um, how do you start singing? I think the first thing is to try. I think you need to just sing along a little bit and, and allow yourself the possibility that you can sing. Most people have enough pitch to be able to sing. I think the thing that we tend to do is we try to sing in the exact range of what we're hearing. And somebody like me with a deeper voice, for example, I can't sing along with Dave Matthews. I can't hit the pitch, but I can sing the same notes an octave down. So think about where your voice fits and maybe talk it through a little bit and, and, and try to sing along with some things. Um, the other thing is, for me, I had voice lessons. I got very lucky found a great voice instructor, and I'll warn you about voice lessons, you know, anybody can call themselves a voice instructor. Um, and you have to be careful because a lot of people will propagate myths, they will propagate kind of nonsense about singing, and most of them are not true. They'll say, oh, you're too old to start singing, oh, if you, if you eat cheese, you can't sing. I mean, all these nonsense things that I've heard. And, and basically, with proper training of the technique of this instrument, um, you know, the air control and the, and the throat and everything that goes with it, and I... I went through about six years of voice training and I couldn't teach anybody to sing. All I can say is, what I did was go to the local liberal arts college, contact the music department and say, do you have, do you have anyone in the, in, the, in the music department who teaches singing? And I think that gives you a better 
quality control measure. So to check that out, I mean, look around and feel things out, but it, singing should never hurt. Well, except for like weightlifting hurt. I, I went through a lot of stuff, but it's hard, it was hard work. But I mean, you shouldn't end the night and, and hurt for singing. If, you're, if, you're, if, if, if it hurts, you're doing something wrong. So think about singing lessons. And then when you start to do it, you've got to practice. You've got to take it out and do it. And for me, that was blues jams where I started. You really need to to do it and do it and do it and get the practice and, and make it happen. So, okay, so that's that's my philosophy spiel. I think it's very important. So how how do we go about doing it? Well, I started off today, and um, just for reference, I wrote a nonsense blues song. To quote my friend Ryan Hart, uh, if you haven't seen his hand effects video, guys, it's it's one of the best ones out there, one of the earliest Harp Instruction video is one of the best ones out there. Ryan, Ryan always said that a, a blues song is just bad poetry. And I think that was true. So I wrote some bad poetry this morning just as an example. Um, so how do you sing and play at the harmonica at the same time? It's, it's kind of a hard thing to teach, so you just have to try. Um, as one of the things, you can just start off, you know, the basic. Maybe just start to try to sing the lyrics, right? So the lyrics are, my baby just left me, she went away repeat, you know, because usually in blues you've got an A, A, B lyric pattern. So that's the other thing. It doesn't, it's not that hard to memorize a couple of blues songs because you really only have to remember two lines per verse and you can get away with three verses. So just keep it in mind, you know, all your excuses, oh, I can't memorize, it's too much, blah, blah, blah. Start with one tune, give it a shot, practice it, practice it. You will memorize it, guys, I promise, but you got to to, you have to have to work on it. Okay, so my baby just left me, she went away, and it resolves to took all my money, now I can't pay, okay? Could have been anybody's blues song, could be a new one, it's, that's how easy it is sometimes, it's crap, but you know, we'll use it as an example, okay? So, you could just start, my baby just left me, she went away, da -da -da -da. and just kind of, kind of get in the mood, well my, change the four chord, my baby just left me, I said she went away, da 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 You know, she took all my money, now I just can't pay. So then, so then maybe they'll use the harmonica to carve out a little bit, right? So we're in that little groove, right? My baby just left me. Now I gotta make sure I'm in, I'm in tune to the harmonica because I was singing to my head. Okay. <laughs> My baby left me, now I just can't say, oh, she went away. My baby left me, oh, she went away. Well, I just don't understand how she treat me that way. Okay, so that's, maybe we simplify it. My baby left me, said she went away. Well, my baby left me, well, she went away. Well, why she want to leave me? I don't understand this day. So I'm just hitting like a chord. So that's like maybe a basic, basic way to practice it, right? Just just chugging on a little bit of rhythm there to get the idea of holding that little melody line in your head. And I'm messing up. I'm making up the words. Um, while switching back and forth. Because that's the real thing. It's, 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 it's turning on both at the same time, you know? So I know you all can do that. I'm just playing a little bit of chord. And I'm in a D harp, so I'm a little chord in A. Well, my baby went away. I don't know what she's trying to say. She left me all by myself today. She went away. You get the idea, guys. I mean, it, start with that, maybe that basic. And then you can start to think about your licks and your fills and your bass lines as, you know, things that you actually know how to play. Maybe you know, like, a rumba. Um.
Well, my baby, she left me. She went away. Well, my baby, she left me. Baby, she went away. Well, my baby wanna leave me. I just don't understand it today. See what I mean? So, like, you can try different things. And I mean, I'm assuming gearing this towards intermediates. As you guys know a little bit about, you know, following and playing some basic, you know, whether it's like a box shuffle or, you know, things we talked about before, um, or like a boogie groove, whatever it is, you know, try the harmonica thing and maybe simplify it, you know, instead of... Maybe you just go... Well, my baby just left me. She went away. Well, my baby just left me. She went away. Okay, I got complicated, but you guys get the idea. Slow it down. Try to fit the words in. You know, and, and, and I think the biggest thing is to convince yourself that it's possible, okay? I was told it was impossible. You're 23 years old. You'll never sing. Nonsense, guys. If you want it, if you want to play more harmonica, that's what I want to do, right? I think this is a great way... Um, to get that. So that's my little mess around singing and playing the harmonica. Um, you can check out my Sundown Blues video. I think I did an okay job back in 2007 when I made that one. But I, I really just want to encourage you guys to open yourselves up. Just like, um, you know, again, intermediates, go back to the, the you know, positions video. I think that's a good one. Just, just get into some of these minds, mindsets, some of these ideas to break yourself out of this. Uh, I, I'm frustrated. I don't know. I'm not getting to play. You. I, certain the guys that feel this video, I know who you are. I've met you, and um, this is one of the secrets. So give it a shot. Try to sing with your own voice. Find lessons if you can. Work really hard on it. Um, you know, because to me, it's it's something. It's a whole other part. It's a skill that you work on, just like practicing the harmonica. It's a whole lot of fun. You'll have a great time that first time you get on stage. You'll be scared to death. But I promise you, it, it it'll lead to playing more harmonica, and that's the goal. So thank you guys for watching. I hope it's not too long. Just keep writing, keep keep sending comments, whatever you guys want to do. I'll try my best to answer it. And um, keep watching everybody else's videos. I mean, it's all out there. You can learn everything you need to do, but you got to practice. So thank you, guys. I'm Dan Gage, and um, I'm going to riff for two seconds and call it, a, call it a video. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>